Wow, with a sober face and a mind full of pain at this time. We'll continue uh, to listen to the songs of Mobad. It's no longer with us, but as long as the earth uh, continues to revolve around the sun, we would continue to celebrate this young man and we'll keep saying justice uh, for Mobad. Uh, Chooks is also in the studio. Chooks, uh, nice having you back. You're looking as though there's one wedding somewhere. <laughs> it's not a wedding, it was just a small outing for like one hour to, you know. Anyways, nice to be here. Yes, nice. Matthew, what's up with the shades? Ah, uh, well, I know, I know you, uh -uh. I, I know you go there. I just, <laughs> I just, I just felt that uh, at least let me have, let me just, let me just feel myself a little. Oh, feel yourself. You understand? A little. You don't have a monopoly to using shades on she this. On I don't. this <laughs> you understand? Because I know you always come with different shades. So me self, I said, okay, make I just. Check. Make shade up. Make I shade up. You understand? <laughs> so that nice. so that the both of us go look shady. Ooh, shady. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a like that. that. <laughs> well, right. it's from the platform. Uh, <laughs> let's start with the worst trending. Uh, in the course of the week, uh, Ilda Bassi, uh, the Guinness World Record holder for the longest uh, cooking marathon, and uh, she somebody gifted her a Jeep, a brand new Jeep, for her 28 birthday and people were crying on social media that ah this is a women's world how can somebody buy a car close to over 60 million for just an individual for a birthday but either basi is here to put a face to the individual that got the car but nigerians with our own mindset already know that feels that is a guy that bought that a car well, uh, no wonder she doesn't want to put a face yeah. to the person. Because if they're already reacting this way, if she then puts a face to the person, they'll probably tear the person out. So, um, fine, it's a gift. Let her enjoy her gift. It doesn't matter who bought it. The important thing is she's got a gift for her 28th birthday. Uh, let, let her feel and enjoy the ride. Wow. Yeah. If, if you like, the, the masses also always feel the, the, there is this entitlement mentality that this person already has this, he already has more than enough. Why is he still getting more? Not, not failing to understand the, the value those persons have created around themselves that will continue to attract wealth. No, but you see, if uh, you feel that Hilda Bass has got so much, and then what do you say about a Dangote? Yes. What do you say about an Elon Musk? Sure. There's not packed up shop they're yes. still making they're money, still making money yeah. so hey they should uh, wake up and smell the coffee they should until you are down there six feet you keep making money so long as you're alive hmm. and you have content you're creating you have services you're rendering you continue to make money wow it's that simple absolutely that, that, that's a good one uh, the message is just at uh, this create value around yourself yeah. and wealth will come running wealth will definitely it's more like it's, it's, it will be like a magnet create this value around yourself and wealth would no matter where they are will naturally begin to look out for you and uh, let's move on with this one uh still on the date of uh, mobad uh where naira mali has lost over 500,000 followers on his instagram and also on the x app People are following Naira Mali and also several top um, music streaming platform are bringing down his songs. The likes of MTV and uh, a couple of other uh, radio stations in Nigeria have said Naira Mali song would no longer air on their platform. You want to say this might just be the end for Naira Mali as far as the music industry is concerned in Nigeria? Well, it looks so. It does look so. But uh, I think Naramali has had a field day. He's been running rings around people for so long. And a time comes when someone's cup is full. Oh. I think his cup just got full. And he got full with a mobad. So it's good that, you know, um, some music platforms or the TV hits and the rest of them are pulling down his songs. It goes to show that we still have morals. We still believe that anything that is wrong is wrong thumbs up to those people really thumbs mm. up and hey if he's not careful this may actually mine might just be his end 
Wow. It might just be his end, it, particularly it, where music is concerned. It's true, it's true, it's true. And we just, uh, we just hope that, uh, <laughs> we just hope that he uh, himself and whatever, who those who are being, who are being uh, touted to be behind the demise of Mo, but remember, these are just uh, insinuations are not proven in the court of law at this time. Uh, we hope that they would come clean at some point so as come before come and really show tell nigerians your side and if they want you in nigeria at this time if you wherever you are in the world if i were to be in Aramali and the other man samilari i would come to nigeria if i'm clean i will get my lawyers and begin to find my defense I, and away from mobile demites uh let's talk about uh, another musician this one is her life is hell and healthy but he's fond of saying certain things these days that several persons will begin to ask are you in the circular music industry or you want to finally just steal towards gospel we're talking of mobile uh, we're talking of spiral this time around spiral came out in an interview in the course of the week where he said at some point in his life he struggled so much with pornography and pornography is very very prevalent in the nigerian music industry spiral a young artist who is known to be talking more like one who is a gospel artist than in the circular world i i would say a spiral perhaps has been in the other side yes. and has seen so much in the other side sure and now has seen that mm, in this other side there's not too much to it it's all about doom 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 i mean for him to have struggled with pornography and speaking of pornography really in the music industry even their videos it's all about porn you see women with rope on their bum bum shaking all that is pornography they just abuse our sensibility all in the name of music videos so for me um i just pray he tilts even some more to god remember at some point he said uh he said he wants to use his music to preach the gospel. Oh, wow. He wants to use his music to preach about, to, to, to teach morality. Oh, wow. You understand? To speak against the ills in the in music industry. And we hope he succeeds. Because I've seen a couple, I've listened to a couple of his songs and you could tell that his lyrics are always very clean. Oh, the, who is your dad? Now leave me my, my the, kind of the song. Because it resonates among both the young, the and old, the elderly, everybody, even younger, younger kids could naturally sing the song and you'll be at peace. I just feel that we should do more of this clean music. Music, yeah. Especially our young ones. It shouldn't sure. just be all about lewd things. Sure. And let's talk about... Uh, Head up straight to one which I think should be of concern to everyone, especially social media. X Elo Max, the owner of X, former Twitter, has said subsequently users will start paying monthly fees, stipends as monthly fee. Remember, uh, Elo Max has been paying some users, especially those with verified accounts who create content regularly from the revenue generated funds. And this time around, he's saying users would have to start paying to use the app maybe subsequently they'll start paying monthly fee maybe uh, like those of you now like using twitter might be paying 20 20,000 every month for being for being on twitter for using twitter yes but i don't get it too is this or not a uh, bring this give you this and yeah. come and take that yes use the, because recently uh, he you, said he was going he's paying he's paying people and then suddenly and he now wants I them want to, pay him. to be paying to what use is his app? problem <laughs> <laughs> i don't get in it fact, in fact is it that he's paying them mm. or they are paying him he should just pick one absolutely i, I he I, should just pick one and stick with one i i feel for elon Marx. He, he 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 is a business person and he's trying to see how he can maximize uh the business part of the platform as as well as he can yes people will get people are getting paid but if people start paying stipends to use the platform i think it will bring about plenty of regulations you understand plenty of regulations and i'm also not in support totally people paying no but matthew i, I want to uh, disagree with you a little now if i begin to pay for it I could just not bother about any regulation because I've paid for this. I can use it as I want. Sure. I, th I, th I think you just corrected me there. I, I think, can just yeah. use it however I choose it's to true, use it. It's true, it's because true, it's I'm true. paying for it. Yeah. It's become my space. I now own it because money has exchanged hands. Hmm. 
And let's uh, finally on what's trending today. Uh, definitely, most of you would have seen these stories over and over again. But this time around, we just felt we should also give it a thought. Uh, uh, Paul Alexander, uh, the young uh, Scottish uh, man, uh, the Scottish man who had lived inside an iron log for over 70 years, celebrated 70, his 70th birthday in the course of the week. And all his life, he has lived inside that iron log. Remember, at the age of uh, 11, he was struck down by polio. And ever since, he was unable to walk. And himself and a couple of other persons came about helping him to breathe and he has been able to find a way to breathe inside that iron log that's where he lives that's where he sleeps that's where he does all he does okay. the only thing he does sometimes is to bring out his head to eat outside and he goes inside again he can't walk he can't see he's just there and he has been alive for 70 years paul alexander <laughs> paul alexander Matthew, really, if you ask me, this is uh, just God. God, yeah, absolutely. This is just, this is, it, it, this is beyond us. Just God showing himself yes. that I'm God. Because people who are healthy and uh, moving about, not living in confinement, are just dropping dead. And then a man who is in a confined place with a serious ailment has made it to 70. And a lot of us who are just going up and about, doing our thing. Some are not even up to 50 and they are gone. Hmm. So it's just God that has decided to, that life actually is in his hands, not in the hands of anybody. Wow. This is just God, if you ask me. Wow, interesting, if you ask me. An amazing story. I followed that over time, but I felt this time around we should also talk, give it a thought, and also celebrate the dexterity, uh, the, the I want to live spirit of this individual because he needs to be given a thought. And the fact that... Uh, it came about ways at which you can be, uh, you can breathe inside the iron log is also one to really uh, be of note. Uh, let's take a break at this time. Save you the quotable quote as well as a song for the week. A song for the week also is dedicated to Mobad. A tribute for Mobad continues. Stay with us. There are certain moments in the day when I need my me time to just unwind and indulge. Now available in 30 grams and 450 grams. Wow, you must change a man's thoughts if you are to change his personality. If you are to change his person, a quotable quote for the week. One of the ways to change the world is to change the thoughts of people, change the thoughts of an individual, how they see the world, how they perceive the world, and how they reason and how they relate to things most especially. A quotable quote for the week. We also saw a tribute song for Mobad, one of Mobad's songs. We'll continue to pay a tribute to the young man who passed on at the age of 27. At this time, it is officially the inside segment of for today. And today, we decide to look more on the entertainment industry in Nigeria. I want to focus because the death of Mobad has brought about several revelations, enslaved contracts by record labels owners. Uh, movie the extremely uh, once again also the movie industry young and upcoming actors and actresses being exploited by movie producers people doing whatever they call uh, they, they, whatever they can to get fame including cultism and all sorts in the in the entertainment world uh Chooks, yeah. your take for young people who wants to become stars because sometimes they will tell you that I've suffered so much in the hood. I don't see the conditions any record label owner wants to give me that would enslave me. It will still be better off than where I am coming from. Failing to understand that at some point, you will become bigger than that stage and you will need, you will cry for freedom. You, you see, that this thing called desperation has a way of making people 
think so little of themselves. When you're desperate, you can, you can do just about anything. And that's where the young ones get it wrong. Like you rightly pointed out. Now, if you're looking at where you're coming from is so little, you forget that the future is bigger than where you're coming from. And then when you become big, you, you, you see yourself as having arrived and somebody somewhere is caging you. Now, because humans, the moment it begins to get better, you would feel it, you will know it. You would begin to react negatively to whoever is trying to keep you bound. Now, this is part of the problems the young ones have when they sign their contracts. They just look at it as in, oh, man, I was just having a meal, now I can have three square. So it's okay, let's just append our signature. You forget that a time will come you would want to even gift people. It is when you have eight meals you can give out four. You forget a time will come you would, people would see you, ah, this guy don't blow. Friends, family, they want to earn from you as well. Because wealth that goes around is proper wealth. If you keep it there and it's just you, you you're miserable. The Bible says you're of all men most miserable if everything is just surrounding you. So they need to at least get lawyers. Entertainment lawyer, not lawyer that does not know anything about entertainment. When they want to go into these things, they should get lawyers, entertainment lawyers particularly, and have these things looked at properly before they append their signature. It is very important for the movie industry, for the music industry, for any industry at that. Hmm. Let's do things right. So we don't come back tomorrow to start crying wolf. Hmm. We, we, we must also look at government regulations of the operations of even record labels in the country and as well as the movie industries, producers, there must, there must be some level of regulations. There must be some, there must be a body that would be able to look into their operations, look into their books and begin to look at how those who who operates, who work with them, or those who are, seems to be under their, their tutelage, how they fare. I think we must begin to look at some of these, not say, okay, it is their business, let them sort out themselves. And I got my side, I'm going to give my kids 10 years of my life. Mm. Now, it may not work for other people, but it worked for me. Mm -hmm. 10 years of my life, I'm going to give to my kids. My kids don't go to school until they are three plus. Mm -hmm. I taught them from the house on oh, wow. when they get out they're fine wow i can't just take a child of one plus and mm. God, how do they do it wow how mm. wow interesting it was after 10 years i decided okay because i personally told myself i was going to use meat yeah when my first son turned 10 okay you're not able to take care of yeah. this ones then i can dust my certificate and say okay let's go out and then do a few wow. and i took a job that is convenient for you that could help me still bond with my kids hmm. ah. wow. this is this is an amazing session with chooks you can always trust her to to bring her a game to bear when it comes to some of this teaching we can go over and over again but that's how much time will permit us on today's episode of family platform we hope you enjoyed every segment from what's trending the glees as well as the insight segment for today remember we just spoke on the hills in the society uh, especially the prevalence and the recent happenings in the entertainment industry i uh, choose your final words as we sign out ah, final words parents sit up do your job as parents and please don't begin to think that uh, they owe it to you to come and pay you back no it's your responsibility hmm Let's do it again uh, next week at uh, same time, same station. I'm Matthew Kube. Bye for now. <laughs>